Detroit Lions last year went to the NFC Championship game for the first time in 32 Ooh. years. Dan Campbell, he has improved year after year with Jared Goff at the helm. Keep in mind, the Rams looked at Jared Goff after drafting him. Sean McVay said, you're not good enough. Got rid of him, got Matthew Stafford. Rams won a Super Bowl. Jared Goff, former number one overall pick out of Cal, goes to Detroit, was to some degree left for dead. This is a Detroit Lions franchise that had not won anything as of late. They built the offense around him, and now Detroit looks very promising. They took the San Francisco 49ers down to the wire in the NFC Championship game, and they just fell short. Shady, what is your instant reaction to Jared Goff signing this record-breaking deal? He deserves it, mm -hmm. right? The things he's done in Detroit is major. And I think all the Detroit Lion fans will appreciate him getting this contract. You know, it's funny. I remember when he first got there from the trade, right, from the Rams to uh, Detroit, and Dan Campbell, uh, maybe like game three, game two, game three, he called him out. He said, yo, we expect more from Jared Goff. We want to see more from him. That's why we traded for him. We want to see more from this guy. And everybody was like, well, man, he's so hard on him. Like, because we thought Jared Goff was just Jared Goff, a good quarterback in a good system that took his team to the Super Bowl. They didn't win, right? We ran the ball a lot. And the Sean McVay offense, it was cool. So we really get to see him. And Detroit, he shows who he truly is. I can carry this team. A decent defense, not great, a decent defense, really good offensive weapons, and look what he took his team to, yep. NFC Championship game. So I will say this, though. With all this money comes greater responsibility. Yes, and, and he is that good yep. where I want to see Jared Goff back to the NFC Championship game, right? And I want to see the coach. Mm. Kick not sabotage the whole situation. Because <laughs> low key, they should have been in the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. So Katie, you said something interesting. I got to call you down here. Thank you, bro. I like when I you say said you said he is that good. Mm -hmm. Let's talk for a second. Okay. I'm not saying that you're wrong. Okay. But remember who Jared Goff is. Jared Goff is a person who not us mm -hmm. said wasn't that good. Jared Goff is a person who a top three offensive mind in the game of football, probably a top three offensive mind since the turn of the century. And Sean McVay said wasn't that good. So it's just fascinating now to hear you say that he is that good, and I think you're right. Well, so what, what has happened with Jared well, Goff? I, I, I won't go that far and say that, he, that Sean Vay thought he wasn't that good. He thought he was getting something better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, mean, which, I mean, which he did. Matthew mm -hmm. Stafford did. I mean, got a championship when he got there. But I, I do think Jared Goff, for his team, I mean, he's a special player. Like, I always say this, you know, to be the best player in, in, your, posi in your position is hard to do, yep. right? I, I, I had it, I was blessed to have it two or three times, right? I thought it might have been better than, than other years, but I, I wasn't. It was hard guys going against Frank Gore, Adrian Peterson, all of them guys. Mm -hmm. But for your team, if I'm the best player for my team, that's all that matters. If you look at the roster they have, the offense they have, the things that they're doing, the wide receivers that they're signing, the running backs that they're, um, they're drafting, right? The guys that are just getting a free agency. It's for Jared Goff. Mm -hmm. And when he has these weapons and these tight ends, you see what he does. So when you ask me how's he got better, you can just watch the tape and see. The, the Detroit Lions without Jared Goff are not a better team. No, not at all. With him there, they are a better team, and now they can keep adding to what they have. Now they add into defense now. Yep. With when the offense took care of them, took care of the quarterback, that's what about the defense. They're going to be a tough team to beat. No doubt. They were last year. Mm -hmm. Look, you know how I feel about Sean McVay and Brilliant. Matthew Nah, he Stafford. the truth. He the truth. You know how I feel about Sean McVay. Woo. But I can have enough nuance, and in no way am I saying a championship <clears throat> that going to an NFC championship is better than winning a Super Bowl. Obviously. Absolutely not. But Jared Goff already accomplished more, as far as winning goes, than Matthew Stafford did in his time there. In Detroit, yeah. Yes. That's not an indictment of Matthew Stafford entirely. We know uh, what's going on with that organization. We playing around, we playing around with that line, though. Hold up. What? <laughs> I, I'm thinking my words carefully. Yeah, we playing around I'm with that. Uh, <laughs> you my girl, so I'm wild, but this is... Let, let me hear this you again. You know how I feel. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm... Where are we going? I'm, 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 I'm ramping <laughs> The thing is, is. Jared Goff absolutely deserves this. Yes. Because yeah. we always yeah. bring up Sean McVay moving off of him mm -hmm. for Matthew Stafford, which I thought was the right decision. And it obviously, was. it was it the right was. decision because yeah. he won a Super Bowl, and I don't think he would reverse it for a second. Right. But I do think that Jared Goff has proven that he still has value, even though it didn't necessarily work with the Rams. Absolutely. Which, by the way, he went to a Super Bowl with the Rams also. Mm -hmm. So he went to the Super Bowl, and then he went to the NFC Championship game in Detroit, where they haven't been there for 32, 32 years. Yeah. So I think it's unfair to compare Matthew Stafford and Jared Goff because obviously Matthew Stafford won a championship, which is which is better than getting to an NFC championship game. So in no way am I comparing those two situations. But all I'm saying is we can't just say, oh, Sean McVay moved off of him, so he's not 
good. Mm -hmm. he, Matthew Stafford was better, and let's just let's put that over there. Jared Goff deserves this money. He, we can watch and see how he has put this team on his back, how he's the leader of this team, how the team works around him, how excited they are to play with him. And he has a new life there. Jared Goff has had a very interesting path because when he first came into the league, everyone thought he was a bust. Mm -hmm. Everyone thought he was a bust. It was, it was a wrap on his career until he got to, with Sean McVay. And I think part of the reason why people didn't take Jared Goff seriously is because he was not good enough and to, uh, under Jeff Fisher until he got with Sean McVay. We're like, okay, it's, it's just the coach. It's just the coach. It's just the system. It's just the people around him. That's the reason why he was in the Super Bowl. I think him taking the, the Lions, the Lions, a yeah. team that has struggled for years, for, yeah. a very, for decades, to the NFC Championship game shows that he's more than just somebody who was in the right system. James, I got, I got a question <laughs> for you, James. Yeah. It's a very difficult question. Mm -hmm. Are you paying Jared Goff $212 million for what he's done mm -hmm. or what he's going to do? Because I don't know that Jared Goff is good enough to win a Super Bowl. Mm. Now, how many quarterbacks are? Y'all yeah. say don't play around with that Super Bowl word. Yeah. The reason I don't know if he's good enough to win a Super Bowl is because I do subscribe to the ideology of Sean McVay, who said, yo, you were good enough to get me there. Yeah. You weren't good enough to win it. For all we say about kicking those field goals, there were some plays against the 49ers that Goff left on the table. We, oh, we can do it. There's some plays he left the on the table. The drops are just... Playing the, good. Uh, the oh, fourth down conversions. There were some plays he left on the some... table. Two so, big drops by the receiver. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. But yeah. what I'm asking is 212 is a lot. Yes. You paying him for what he did? Uh-huh. Or are you paying him for what he's going to do? Both. Oh, okay. Yeah. Both. Because he earned Good the answer. money with what he did, getting you to the NFC Championship and the way he played. I applaud the Detroit Lions. I played in that division for eight years. I seen these boys go 0 and 16. <laughs> I seen these when boys be the worst franchise in the National Football League for years. You have a really good quarterback. Yep. Don't mess it up. You extend him, you give him his money, and now you can put more pieces around him to continue to compete. When you give a man all this money, you don't expect him to stay the same, Acho. We need more now. So, yes, he has to be better. Did he earn this money? Absolutely. But now we need you to be better. We need you to make them Matthew Stafford throws in the Super Bowl. That, that's why it looked like we traded for you because we didn't see these throws. We need to see those big-time throws when the game is on the line. I believe he's capable of doing that. I believe he's capable of beating the best teams in the NFC. He had the best team in the NFC on the ropes. And, yes, you can touch on a lot of different stuff. But he is capable to get you to a Super Bowl. Winning it and all that, it'll add all that'll answer itself because it's hard to win. But, but, to get but there, he though. has mm -hmm. the ability to get there and have a chance to win it. You know what this does, the 200 million? It gives you a chance for the next five to six years to compete and have a chance to win a Super Bowl every year. That's what this does for Jared Goff. We, we also get into the Super Bowl conversation a lot. Everyone doesn't get paid to win Super Correct. Bowls. Like, Joe Burrow has been to a Super Bowl. So he's been to a Super Bowl. Jared Goff has also been to mm -hmm. a Super Bowl. Justin Herbert has not won a playoff game mm -hmm. last, in, in his career. He's, he's making 0.5 million less <laughs> than Jared Goff, who's been to an NFC Championship game, a place that that organization hasn't been in 32 years, and went to a Super Bowl with a different organization. Lamar Jackson, mm. Jalen Hurts, not to bring up old stuff, but that you get paid when you earn certain marks mm -hmm. in your career, when you're a two-time MVP and you get to the AFC Championship game, when you take your team to the Super Bowl or you are a, a Super Bowl-level quarterback, meaning you are playing in a Super Bowl, when you put up numbers like Justin Herbert has put up. The, the idea that, okay, Jared Goff has been paid this money. Of course we expect them to go to a, a Super Bowl and win a Super Bowl because you're being paid at the yeah. top of the league and that's what the expectation should be based off of what you set by getting to an NFC Championship game and playing that way. But to immediately, like, we got to start looking at everybody's resume yeah. now. Like, I don't see a lot of Super Bowl winning quarterbacks on this list of top paid guys. So, yeah. yes, of course that's the expectation, but everyone needs to pay yeah. their quarterback once they're a franchise guy. And that's why, that's why I asked the question. It's kind of like, what you paying them for? Because yeah. I agree with Joy. You're not paying every quarterback to win a Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. no, because you know some quarterback's not getting you there. But yeah. you're paying some quarterbacks Dak Prescott because you know he is the franchise player for your team. He's a superstar player on your team. They'll sell jerseys. Y'all will stay good. But you don't necessarily have Super Bowl expectations. You have a chance to win. Exactly. Yeah. What are the expectations then, Shady? What are your expectations now for golf? Well, I hear what you're saying. But, I mean, I look at golf as a Super Bowl winning type of, co or type of quarterback because he showed you that, right? You know what we're talking about right now? What are we talking about right now? The Detroit Lions, mm -hmm. you know how awful they've been for years? Yeah, Listen. I've seen them. I played a lot of good football in my life. Mm -hmm. Some of my better games, you know what they're against? <laughs> the best game. <laughs> the 
Detroit Lions. I couldn't wait. I has been Barrett Sanders is my favorite running back. He played for the Detroit Lions, right? What did he do? He retired. You know what? Got a great career. I'm done with this. You sure, Barrett? The nine years? Yeah, this team's awful. <laughs> It's Calvin, the Detroit Lions. Calvin They've been did, bad for years. Calvin did the same right? thing. I mean, that's not for sure. Yeah. Calvin. <laughs> yeah. Matthew, Matthew Stafford, come wait to leave out of there. I can't wait to go. So when you ask me these questions, yeah. The Detroit, first of all, I got some family in Detroit. They so happy right now that the way the team looks. Mm -hmm. And a big they part of that be. is the head coach. And a big part of that, a big part of that is the quarterback. Yeah. So when you ask, can they win a Super Bowl? Yes. Last year, they should have been in a Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. If the head coach takes his ego out the way and just plays regular football, mm -hmm. punt the ball, take field goals. I think this year that when, when we look at um, the NFC, where they stand, you can't tell me the Detroit Lions ain't up there. They should be top three. They, they should be yeah. top so, three. So now they're top three. Yeah, they should. They got, and then another thing I'm thinking about, all the weapons, from the running backs to wide receivers, mm -hmm. Jamison Williams, Bro. right? Oh, yeah. Who hasn't been playing much, right? Yeah, yeah a little, little going on. He's. Mm -hmm. What do you think he'll be this year? Correct. He's right? flashes yeah. in the playoffs. He's gonna be nice. You add him, you got the tight ends. But that's my Man, point. They're gonna be ready to roll. Because not... offensively, James, and you can speak to this really better than anybody. You got Jameson Williams. Mm -hmm. You got Amon Ra. You just paid. You got Gibbs. Nice too. Plus yeah. you got Montgomery. Plus you got the tight end. Plus you got the offensive line and Panay. The line, line is crazy. Yeah. So, yeah. so you got a squad there. Yeah. I mean, I think this is a squad offensively, probably second only to the 49ers. Mm -hmm. You have a squad. Yeah. Philadelphia Eagles offense goes crazy too. You got a squad. Mm -hmm. What are your expectations? To get back to the NFC Championship. I'm not going to say Super Bowl, but expectations with what this roster I is agree. and where they have been. The expectation should, we are trying to get back to where we were, the NFC Championship game, and let's finish this thing off. And also, this organization knows Jordan Love is here. Mm -hmm. A number one draft pick in Caleb Williams yeah. is here, possibly for a long time in this division. So if we don't have a good quarterback in this league, we all know playing this game, you don't really got too good of a chance nope. at winning consistently. So get your quarterback under contract. But this team's goal should be to get back to where we were and let's finish the deal and have a chance to go to the Super Bowl. They have that type of roster. Yeah. They're going to be better on the defensive side of the ball. Your first-round draft pick is a corner. You're going to be better on the defensive side as well. But with Jared Goff, your offensive coordinator stayed, has some opportunities it to is. leave. He stayed because he believed in he the know. culture. Yep. This is going to be a really good football team. They are going to be one of the scary teams in the NFC. I agree. Should the Lions be the NFC favorite? Let me ask final question. Obviously, we got to go to break. Because I would, I would venture as far as to say that, that like, <laughs> should the Lions be, I don't think it should be the Cowboys. I don't think it should be the Eagles. So I'm, I'm moving away from there. I don't think it should be a team in the NFC South. I don't think it should be the Saints or the Bucks or the Falcons Get or the Panthers. Team, so we're moving away from there. Okay, so now yeah. let's cut to the NFC West. But I'm going to give you the truth. I don't, think I, it should be the, I don't think it should be the Rams. I don't think it should be the Seahawks. So go go Cardinals, go. I don't know. it's going to be Detroit Lions. They should be the favorite. I think so. Other than the holes on defense, which are trying to cover up, right? A explosive offense with a great offensive uh, line. And another thing I love about the Detroit Lions, even though they have all these pieces on the outside from the tight end and wide receivers, they play football. We yes, run this they ball. They do that play, offensive Right? Line. They're a real oh. football team. And they're physical. Mm -hmm. And they don't have no egos. Like, if I really ask you, who's the real superstars? Other than knowing what, the, what they make, not a dead yeah, really you see what I'm saying? They all about ball. Yep. And they head coach showed you that. So if you ask me, and I hate to say it, but I'm gonna say it, I think they they favored. They should be. Mm. I'm putting money on this year. Mm. I'm go back go all day. I believe we're gonna be like that. Oh, he's biased. No, 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 no. The guy no, got no, a green. No. He had a green outfit on. Bias aside, I think everything that the Detroit Lions have and what they are building, that's the same type of football team that the Green Bay sure. Packers are. No. Well, no. the only difference is Ooh. the Lions are a further step ahead. Because what you're talking about, what the Packers have in number 11 and Reed, Amon Ross St. Brown is on year five. So and like he's, the Lions, and he's a number one, number one. You know what I mean? Like the Lions what? just have, they've been, they have, they should be a step ahead. Better yeah. quarterback, Love has better been. offensive line. I, I understand what you're saying, name wise, right? Amon Ross St. Brown, Pro Bowls, yes, yeah, correct. Yeah, but yeah. with what they have from top to bottom now, with the Green Bay Packers, and I know this is we, we ain't going to take this same. I believe the Green Bay Packers and the Detroit Lions, they, number one, they're going to be competing for that division. I think that's the type of football team the Green we Bay gotta Packers do. We got to do it. We got to do it. We're going to run the ball. Do you want to bet something? Because you, you right? What you want to bet? Who have a better record? The Packers. Bet. Packers win the division. Let's just go win the division. Forget the better record. Let's just go win the division. Today, May. May. Yeah. May. Win the division. Uh -huh. Packers win the division. You taking Lions win the division? May 13th. May 13th. Go ahead. It's up to you. I like, no, I like, I like I better it. record, though. Because better record to me is like, yo. Yeah, go better record. Because you can play the same teams, right? Go better record. Better record I'm going to beat teams you can't beat. Better record? 
Yeah. Better regular women. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's the same thing. thing. Yeah. How much? That's, that's not the same thing. <laughs> Put a stack on it. <laughs> I will wait till the block, because I need you to sign this for the world to see. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak, and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.